guys, winter is officially here because uh, we just got our first new snowmobile. Dude, we say this every year, but it's like Christmas every time. Okay, so this is a Polaris Switchback Assault 850 Boost. So they put a turbo on it from the factory. It's pretty much the most badass snowmobile that you can buy right now, especially for a ditch ripper. This thing is absolutely insane. So the video we're filming today is comparing the best of the best snowmobile that you can get in 2023 versus the best of the best snowmobile that you could get back in 1997. So it's gonna be pretty interesting to see how far snowmobiles have came. And uh, I think we're gonna have some fun on both of them. So first off, we gotta set this thing up, get it out of the crate. I think we gotta do a little bit of dialing in on the old one, get it running properly, and then uh, We'll get them both out on the snow. I don't think this snowmobile could have come at a better time. That we're right in the middle of a really gnarly blizzard. So this will be how we're gonna get around. Oh, oh my God! Just broke the tail light. Honestly, oh. I thought I was a dumb one for running over the camera earlier, but luckily you work with other idiots. Yeah, that way <laughs> your dumb mistake only lasts so long. Only yeah. so long, and then it gets overshadowed. Yeah, around here you're not the dumbest one for long. boys are over there putting together the new sled, I wanna give a quick shout out to our sponsor, Celsius. We've been drinking Celsius around the shop for a while now, and we really like the long lasting, no sugar, no crash, but still tastes super good energy that it gives us. So lately, I've been on the new lemon lime flavor. You can get that at any gas station or any grocery store. You can actually buy it online on Amazon in packs if you want. So go and try some Celsius. You're gonna like how it tastes. You're gonna like what it does for you. And big thanks to them for sponsoring today's video, and let's go ride. We got this beauty set up, now we gotta go and get, well, let me just show you what we're working with. <laughs> All right, and the other sled for the day is a 1997 XLT 600 triple. It's also a two up, which is just a bonus. The most important part is that it's a triple, which was like the best motor in its day. The high horsepower. High horsepower motor in its day. They all sucked back then, so even being the best is <laughs> it. <laughs> we'll see what's changed over the last 25 years. So we picked this snowmobile up for $2,000, which is a fantastic deal, especially for how mint it is. But we got it back, rode it one time, and kind of found out that it might have a bad head gasket, which is an easy fix, but we don't have one today. So hopefully she makes her through the day. Ev, you are looking good. I love the colors, dude. Ryan, it's pretty nice you had to bring a laundry with snowmobiling today. Oh. You're gonna have so much fun. You're gonna love snowmobiling. Ev, you love snowmobiling. I'm in the light at the end of the tunnel. I don't want Evan out shine me, but I kind of forgot how to ride a snowmobile. That wouldn't be a good look, Ryan. was the thing about these old sleds? They did tend to break. They improved the reliability quite a bit since the 90s. <laughs> yeah. All right, so it's the next day. We ordered a head gasket for this thing, but it's not gonna be here for a couple days. So we hit the old Facebook marketplace and we tracked down another greasy triple 600 XLT. This thing is two years older, so it's a 95. And uh, we're gonna keep this show on the road. So hopefully this thing doesn't break in the next five minutes like that one did. <laughs> oh, geez, Ken. <laughs> My snowmobile. What are you doing? I'm playing it uh, playing crazy today. This isn't even your snowmobile. Don't wreck mine. Just because he said that, it means I'm gonna though. <laughs> What happened? 
Plastic pieces don't like it when it's 10 below. Oh, oh. I'm in trouble, dude! Oh, shit. I stopped because I was so impressed with Evan's maneuvers, and I just stopped like, this is an easy part to fix, but Ken's gonna be just as mad. What happened? You're gonna wanna see this, Ken. Greasy triple with a broken windshield? No, no, 850 with a broken handguard. Some people just have no respect. They just take other people's stuff and they just treat it like it's a rental. Yeah, that ain't right. What kind of guy would do such a thing? Try to kick me out and out the Oh, dude, excellent bail. I maybe could have held on to it, but it seemed like she was a little kitty wampus. The dismount was 10 out of 10, dude. Yeah. That was sick. The boys, they're getting rowdy today. We're gonna save the rest of the track, like the jumps and everything, because we're gonna come out here with uh, some race snowmobiles, some new ones, some old ones. Stay tuned for that video. Subscribe if you haven't, we're trying to hit two million. But uh, I think we're gonna go and check the ditches out, see how those are and uh, bang some ditches. Let's do it. <laughs> With Mike's track, he's able to wheelie a lot better. And it seems like almost jump that thing too. And then Ryan's just like a rocket on the straightaway. But Evan manages to be there with both of you the whole time on the XLT. Pretty entertaining watching him just fight the machine the whole time. Just steeping off. Yeah, Evan, you're definitely working the hardest. Dude, I'm getting a workout for sure today. <laughs> Full body. Anyone who lives in Minnesota or just the Midwest that grew up riding ditches, you can truly appreciate this. It's seriously one of the best snowmobiling like experiences. We've been all over the place, but Minnesota ditches are hard to beat. <laughs> thing I think I've ever seen. turns on perfect congrats on today though bro thanks what's the congrats I, about though the bond between you and this machine for a minute i machine. was like i forget that evan's riding a 25 year old sled right now because i'm having a great time no, no, no. I was 27 can't put an age on love <laughs> <laughs> I, i'm a little no no i think you can i think you can there you go twelve hundred dollar sled twenty five thousand dollar sled you're gonna have a good time either way All right, you guys want to come in here? Oh boy. It's Santa! Where's, where's my large one, Big Ken? I can already tell he's gonna hate this. Is this a challenge? Some oh, might consider oh, it more of a gift. Oh, oh. Big Ken will probably consider it a challenge. All right, what's up? Now that everyone is here, it's the holiday season, and you know what that means. Christmas bonus time. 
<laughs> this year, instead of me just handing you cash or writing a check, I figured we would mix things up and uh, make a game out of it. You know? I was worried about that. Alright, if you guys want to come on over here, I'll show you the game. The goal of the game is to wear blindfolders and collect as much cash as possible without potentially losing a finger in the process. Now I understand why you ordered blindfolds on Amazon. That is actually not why, but it is very convenient. <laughs> <laughs> so do you lose if the mouse trap goes off or you just keep going right through it? No, you keep going. Yeah, you keep going. 30 seconds. You have to keep the Stack money in it, your right. hands. Alright. Okay. Big Ken, I think you gotta go first, man. That's fine. Because you know where the mouse traps are, we're going to blindfold you, replace the mouse traps down, because I know you're a little weasel and hey, hey. you're trying to cheat already. Who has the name Weasel Rat? Who had the name before Weasel Rat? <laughs> <laughs> I just borrowed it for a short time. Alright. Can you that's volunteer a, that's yourself? A take. Throw them on. Wow, this is blackout. Okay. It's almost as blacked out as Mikey gets every night. <laughs> Man, yeah, night, this guy's just throwing shots, bro. <laughs> Why do I feel like there's gonna be other things put on this table? Are you ready? Oh! <laughs> Dude, <laughs> Ken not, hates this. I do not f with megaphones. <laughs> Alright, get your blindfolds on. Let's get this money roll. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay, move these around. Let me, let me check your hands. What are you talking? What do you mean, my hands? You're gonna put something else on this. I'm I not putting know. anything down there. Do you swear on your life? No. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, but seriously, moving them with a the blindfold on is kind of pointless. Well, I mean, but you looked at it. For three, oh, three seconds. I think you can Basically, remember where they are with a blindfold on us. I have a question for Santa. Did he test this himself to make sure it's safe? He did not. Santa needs all of his fingers for Christmas time. With that being said, you don't want any money, Ken? I don't like the fucking megaphone. <laughs> you gave me PTSD from it. Today's training day! Ah, holy fuck, see, that's hot! Okay, jeez, I'll put the megaphone away and go! Oh, oh, oh. oh my god! Come on! Ah! Okay. Yeah. You ready? You don't have to worry, dude. There's no rat traps out here. No, no, no. <laughs> Why do I feel like this could change after the blindfold no, goes sorry, on? No, sorry, Ben. There's no Maybe. weasel rat f traps out Jeez. here. Jesus! Are you gonna pinch my? <laughs> no, that's, that's, you're fine. You're fine. Ah! Oh, Jesus! And start. Ah! Ah! Am I winning? Yeah. That hurt way more than I thought it was gonna. Were you guys feeding them right into me? <laughs> you had to have been. You ready, Mike? Can you run a timer? All right. Got a phone? No way. No way. No way. Did you get your dick? <laughs> Tip of my <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Three, two, one. Ow. Oh! I gotta use my left hand. <laughs> ah! Jesus! Get <laughs> the away from me, Evan. Go! Hummer's out of gas. <laughs> that was funny. Oh. Hey, you got this, bro. No, okay. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Where's all the money? Just here, it's right here. Five in seconds. the middle, right in the middle. <laughs> and time. That was good, right? I got it. Oh, okay, I got it. Oh, that's pretty good, right? Oh, 
<laughs> on my knuckle. All right, guys, so little shop update. We are reorganizing the shop due to the fact that we're gonna have a bunch more snowmobiles coming in and we are running out of space. So we gotta do a little wintertime reorganization. And that is what we are doing right now. Basically just throwing everything up top. But we came up with a really cool idea and that was to take our OG red shifter cart and uh, put it on the wall. That's what we're thinking? That is what we're thinking. Do you know where to put the hooks? In the studs. Do you know where the studs are? Probably behind those other fasteners. Oh yeah, I suppose. Yo, F. Oh my God, dude. He literally just barely missed my face. You're crossing the line constantly. <laughs> oh, I did it. I thought you were looking. Ready? Yeah. All right. Oh, oh. There you go. Oh. Looks pretty nice. sick. Dude. That's a fantasy factory move right there. All right, looks good. Good job, everybody. And I'm spent. Man, artwork.